Okay, uh, I wanted to show you the, uh, the little folk art Indian couple finished. Now, um, I really kind of went to, uh, the lady that wanted these asked me if I would, uh, as a family member, if I would really make these things look old. She wanted something that she could put on her mantle on, uh, to really look old. And I really took some time to uh, to make these look more of a drab color. In other words, if you look at the faces, there's not a lot of, uh, there's not a lot of vibrancy in the faces, you might say. In other words, and I did that deliberately to age them, and um, and I came up with this. Now, you don't have to paint them. You can paint them more of a vibrant color in such a way. But if you see the man's face, uh, his eyes are hid underneath his uh, his hair in here. If you look at that, and. Um, so is the woman's. Her face is more hid underneath the uh, expression of the face in there. And I added just a little bit of color to them. As you can notice, the color is not real strong here, okay? I just added some things. Uh, in fact, the color looks more faded than anything in the world on them. And that was what I wanted in this. Uh, this was a new type of, of, of piece that I wanted to kind of look at. And I had seen these in a, in a home before. Or I don't know if it was in a home or in a store or something. I cannot remember exactly. But I think it might have been in a, in a, in a, in a shop somewhere in an old part of town. In a little town. And I, I came across these type of figures. And I just fell in love with them. And uh, this is a lot the way they look, in other words. Well, I told you the original ones that I had seen did not have hardly any detail to the face at all. They, 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 I, I put in more detail to the face. But by painting them this way, it almost looks like they don't have a face. Uh, not going into the abstract type arc, but in a matter of speaking, uh, not putting so much emphasis on the face, but on the age of the uh, the piece and sort of the drabness of the, the piece itself. Uh, this was something I just did. Uh, and all I did basically was use a raw Sierra. And, and But what I did on here is I didn't use bright colors. I used very drab colors. And then afterwards, I took a um, sort of a little scrub brush or sponge and uh, I kind of rubbed them down after I got through painting them so that and this was just something new that I'd kind of tried and like I said you this is this is this is very very drab folks and maybe a lot of you won't want to do things like this but I showed the lady and she just absolutely loves it this was the technique she wanted on this these pieces in other words and um, the very very uh, not so much emphasis on the faces as much as on the the age of the characters and she said they they look old to her and and I even let the uh, look like the painting has faded in places and not in other places and stuff and as you see, there's very little color down here, just enough to let you see the, the, the characters, but not really uh, concentrate on the, the colors and stuff. More of the, the aged look and the uh, darker look to, these, to these, these two figures. Now, like I said, you can paint them any way you want to. This is, this is the way that she wanted to. Even the, the blackness of the hair, there's a little bit of... I let, left a little bit uh, in, in certain places uh, where it was not 
uh, light is where it was light and dark to make it look like uh, the colors have faded. Perhaps some of the paint is worn off of the, uh, the figure and all that. So this is a little bit different way, uh, but age uh, was to play in this because the two figures would stand like this, in other words, very close together, uh, huddled together. And that is the, uh, the two folk art Indian figures. Um, like I said, you don't have to do it like this, uh, but that is the way that she wanted it. And when I finally showed them to her, well, she was very, very pleased with them. I'm going to put them on a base, but as you can see, they they look very, very worn and very, very used. And so, just kind of show you, see how I made the 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 the, the paint, the figure of it. Um, look like it's it's worn. So anyway, that's the way I did these specific figures because that's the way I, I saw them uh, uh, in this antique store. I think it was a store. Yeah, it was an antique store or something like that. And they were off by themselves. Had a pretty hefty price on them, <laughs> but I wouldn't have paid for it. But anyway, God bless you now. And I just want to show you how you can take a certain figure and and do what you can do with it to make it to different variations of things so here's the indian folk art figures and i will put them on a on a base and i'm gonna kind of do the same thing to the base and we'll go from there okay god bless you now thank you for allowing me to share this this uh neat little folk art couple and uh we're getting something up god bless you now